Here we have the 66 plate BMW X3. Doing best to try and point out any marks, any imperfections and things like that. So we'll start with the front right alloy and tyre here. Overall that alloy is in good shape and you've just got a little bit of corrosion just around the centre cap in the middle there. And it does look as if the wheels have been refurbed, just something worth pointing out. And you've got on the front right tyre here, so you've got a Pirelli tyre, uh, nearly 6.5mm of tread on there, which is plenty. Now coming around the right hand side of the car here, that's all good. Only thing I noticed on this uh, passenger door here, on the back right door, you've got a bit of a dent there. It's about the size of a 2p coin, that one. I'm about a metre away, um, but yeah, you can sort of just see that. And you have got another one here as well. Uh, it's a bit of a dent, but it was also potentially a little bit of a chip, but that's been touched in uh, to take your eye off it. There's another bit there as well. Again, if I stand about metre away you can see it is relatively small and there is a little bit of a ripple in the paint here as well it's not too sure if there was a small dent there or not but anyway just worth pointing out and so the back right alloy and tyre again another Pirelli overall that alloy is in good shape as well and you've just got a bit of corrosion around the centre cap and you've got nearly 7mm of tread. Now coming around the back of the car here. Of course you've got your rear parking sensors as well. And you have just got, there's a, a bit of a graze here. But it is quite small. And just a few light scratches just on the back of a bumper there as well. Just from where someone's been loading something into the back of the car. Of course you've got the electronic tailgate as well, uh, plenty of room in there. And that'll work exactly as it should. Now coming around the back left hand side here. And you've got the back left alloy and tyre here as well. And overall, again, that alloy is in good shape. Again, just a bit of corrosion actually on the centre of the alloy and on the centre cap there as well. Again, quite normal. And you've got a Pirelli on the back left here. And you've got nearly 7mm of tread there as well. It's worth just pointing out, it does look as if this arch is being painted here. Not too sure if you can see that. If I stand about a metre away, as you can see, it's quite hard to tell unless you're really up close to the car. And coming around the left hand side, generally that's pretty good. I did just notice down here there's a few light scratches just on the sill. Just on the door there's a couple of very, very fine scratches as well. And just on the wing mirror, small little scuff there. And you've got the front left alloy and tyre and I think that's a Pirelli as well so you've got a full set of Pirellis all around and you've just got a little bit of corrosion again around the centre cap and you've got just over 6mm of tread on that one now coming around the front of the car here as well and there is a bit of a bit of a graze, bit of a scuff just there I think there's a slight scuff just on the bottom here as well. That's hard to see unless you're right down there. And then as well, uh, a few little stone chips that you, know, you do expect to get on a five-year-old car. And the windscreen as well, free from any major chips or cracks or anything like that. Now if I just come inside, and so you've got the driver's door here, just to point out a few very light little scratches just on that metal bit of trim there. Again with the inside I'll point out if there's any sort of rips in the leather or any scratches, just any imperfections basically. And that's generally all quite tidy. Uh, you've just got a little bit of wear on the bolster there, but 
that's quite normal. If I just come inside, you have got uh, front floor mats with this one as well. And uh, this car was just serviced when it landed with us as well because it was due a service. And I'll just turn that down. And I'll just start the car up as well. Okay, and you can see that's all running exactly as it should be. And you've got the mileage there, 40,393 miles. And of course you've got the automatic lights there as well. There's a couple of little marks just on the edge of the steering wheel. Again, it's the usual sort of wear. That's all working exactly as it should be. Of course, I've put the car into reverse. You've got the parking sensors come up on there as well, on the back. And I believe, I think this one, yeah, it has got sat nav as well, which is all working. You've got heated seats. Uh, you have just got the one key with this one as well. And you've got the front left seat here. That's generally all pretty good. Front left door. And you have got just a couple of very light scratches just on that metal trim there. Now if I just show you into the back of the car as well. And so you've got the back right door here. Overall that's in good shape, but you have just got a little bit of the mark on there. A bit of an indent. And the back of the driver's seat, and that's all good. And the back of the passenger front seat there, that's pretty good, but you have just got a little light scratch on the plastic. And that door's all good. And the back seat's here. And there are just a few, there's a few light sort of scratches um, sort of like these black scratches obviously there's stuff we couldn't get off and you've got rear floor mats as well just worth pointing out yeah, I'll try and show you these a little bit closer up if I can as well but they're sort of just light scratches all across the back of the seats there and you have just got the isofix fittings just in the back as well. There we go, that's the 66 plate X3, overall in good condition with Mark Seed Expect to get on a five year old car. Thanks for watching.